Hi, welcome to my latest uh, Beatles uh, feature on my YouTube channel. I'm Duncan Moss, and I'd just like uh, to tell you uh, about uh, a couple of books um, I require, acquired quite recently in the last uh, two weeks, although they were ordered about uh, three and a half months ago. Uh, a bit of drama uh, took place uh, with them apparently being attempted deliveries to me and then which didn't happen and then the items were returned back to the states where they come from and uh, I'd like to thank Seeker from uh, the the relevant website uh, which I'll give to you during this uh, feature uh, for helping me out and getting the books to me um, it would cost a bit more, but we shared out the costs uh, uh, with the, the, the author's website. So I really do appreciate that. And of course, uh, it's good to have uh, make new friends when uh, the, in the collecting uh, world and when, you've, uh, uh, when something does go wrong. Uh, well, the, these two books I'm going to talk about are absolutely fabulous. This is about Yellow Submarine. Uh, and uh, the book, um, this is the, the yellow sub, Inside Yellow Submarine, it was published about 20 years ago and uh, by a gentleman, Dr. Robert Hieronymus. I hope I've pronounced uh, your name correctly, sir. Please forgive me if I haven't. And um, his friend, uh, Laura E. Cortner, um, Dr. Robert, as he always is, Dr. Bob, as he likes to be addressed, uh, has spent 30 years of gathering information about the making of this movie, the Yellow Submarine cartoon, uh, which we know so little about the production crew. And he has uh, done put this to rights, interviewing a lot of people, and uh, the book is just chock full of facts, beautiful photographs. Uh, it's got a lovely, uh, the cover is just lovely. Uh, and it's, it's just, uh, and of course this is signed by uh, uh, Laura and Dr. Bob. Uh, this is just lovely. I think you can get it from other websites unsigned. Um, it's just loaded with with uh, with just beautiful photographs, uh, and within the last two years, they've had um, it's all in the mind a second book uh, with more information about the production of the film. Uh, it's called "It's All in the Mind: um, Inside Yellow Submarine Part Two, and a beautifully designed cover uh back uh very very nice and again loaded chock full of uh in, in, information and photographs facts uh about merchandise uh was when the film came out in 1968 i was only five and i did i i could have gone to see it because I, I think my first film i think that was July 1968 in the UK, and I think about the same time in the States. Um, I think I went and saw my first ever movie in uh, August 1968, which uh, was Thunderbird 6, I think it was. Uh, but I, I, w I would have quite liked to have seen you know, Submarine. I, my first saw it, I think I were told this already, with my brother. We watched it on a, our parents' black and white portable. Uh, BBC showed it for the first time on the August Bank holiday, 1974. And uh, I think the highlight of the film for both of us, uh, was, uh, my brother Jimmy and I, were Lisa in the Sky with Diamonds. We sort of turned to each other and said, I rather, we, I rather like this song. <laughs> and of course, the other bit that made my brother a lot roared laughter was the bit when George burns his finger uh, uh, on the, he's on a, I think he had a submarine engine or something. Uh, but the, the books are fabulous and, and an absolute must if you like uh, Yellow Submarine. Uh, I've just got a few uh, 
pieces of Yellow Submarine merchandise, which I've acquired. I think I've already shown some, but this is stuff I've had got fairly recently. When I got the book sent to me, um, they very kindly gave out in uh, in the package uh, some uh, free goodies. Uh, one of them was a, a pack of eight um, Yellow Submarine uh, I think that's the one with the with the dogs, the this, the four headed dogs. Uh, if you can also get Mark Far Mark Farland did a a figure of that, and we've also got uh, is that the Turks? The the click is it the uh, and we've got the. That's uh, the glove, isn't it? With the the, the love thing. I, is he, he's chasing John. John's just right at the top. I think that's during the All You Need Is Love uh, sequence. The glove is chasing him around the, the sky. And uh, I think that's a group photograph. A group photograph uh, of the char all characters in the film, or most of them. I think they're a bit, a bit like they did a similar thing at the end of Magical Mystery Tour. The glove is at the centre. I think it's the baddie, the glove. And then we've got, uh, I think that's one of them pressing a button in on the yellow submarine control panel. Because that's always what they did when they were in trouble in the film. Press a button and somewhere or other it would all work out okay. Uh, some of the bad guys, I think. Uh, Sort of, sort of blue meanie type characters, and then I think that's George, uh, George in Sergeant Pepper uh, gear, uh, attacking the blue meanies with music. Excellent. Um, as I say, be just beautiful artwork throughout the whole of the film and uh, they also uh, in the package it's very useful for me since I suffer from stress um, it's a Sergeant Pepper uh, stress squeezy thing I think we, we call it the, the de-stress one uh, there's a yellow submarine one I think there's a, there's a hand one the glove one as well um, but this they 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 didn't have any of those. But they had the the yellow sub uh, sorry the Sergeant Pepper, uh, drum. So I I got that, which was which was I was very pleased with. Uh, I think I might have already showed you some yellow submarine badges, uh, that I I had, and then out of uh, the two, uh, Beetle proper decent Beetle advent calendars. So uh, this is uh, yeah, my hand. Whoops. Oh, can't we? Let's, uh, there we go. That, believe it or not, is a yellow submarine three-dimensional rubber. But I'm not going to use it as a rubber. It's, it's absolutely super, absolutely lovely. And then we've got a Beatles. I don't know what they call these things. A T. Uh, it's where you put the tea bag in, and you lower it into the into the hot water uh, with a tea bag inside it, and uh, it's supposed to make the tea taste even better. It's uh, no, they that they both came out of um, out of two different Beetle Advent calendars, which had some lovely merchandise in. And I'll just show you. This is just lovely. They, uh, I think the Beatles website has uh, sold out of it, but this is just be uh, beautiful. I was able to get this from, uh, I think it was Amazon still had a couple, a few left. And this is a, a yellow submarine snowstorm. Uh, got the yellow submarine and then below it, I think you can just make out some, Pepperland foliage with the three with the four lads um, underneath 
And if you shake it, I think it's, it's supposed to. I can't really. Yeah. There we go. It's it's snowing. Um, we're on that. You can get a a, a Sergeant Pepper drum edition, uh, but I think that hopefully they'll get more in. But at the moment, I think they've uh, the the British. Um, uh, Beetle website has has uh, sold out, and that's really it for the moment. So as I say, it's nice. The Yellow Submarine fans, um, those books are just fantastic, and there is a new piece of merchandise that's come out. It's on the American Beatles website, but not the British. And I hope and pray it's coming on the the British one very soon. And that's a um, a kit. Uh, snap together type kit of the Beatles on the yellow and the uh, Ed Sullivan show to commemorate the 60th anniversary of that. Uh, so please, I don't want to hear that it's available on import for a hundred a hundred pounds to pay uh, for coming bringing it into the country. Please have it legitimately on sale in the UK and the and Europe as well as the states. Um, please. Uh, it always, I don't mean this unkindly, but it always seems that the American uh, Beatles website is way ahead of the British one. And they're, they're both on the same same grid, as it were, because you can have a choice as to which one to go into. But uh, as a Beatles uh, uh, fan, uh, that, that Ed Sullivan thing is a, is a must. But... Uh, if you've never seen the film Yellow Submarine, then treat yourself because it's just it's very, very visually um inventive and it captures the magic of the Beatles. They didn't have a lot to do with the film. They supplied f uh, four new songs and appeared in live action in the uh, for a couple of minutes at the end of the film. Um but they with all their music and the people that they were of course they 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 it's their film uh it's just so nice to see a group of uh another group of creative people uh making such a wonderful interpretation of um uh, of some uh, something that uh, the beatles um it, um influenced and uh and made they that was such a great interpretation of um well uh that's it really if you'd like to tick uh the like button that'd be wonderful if you'd like to subscribe to my uh channel that would be wonderful as well or if you'd like to send it to a friend that'd be great as well uh thank you for putting up me waffling um as i say um i don't think there's ever been uh, a project, uh, a Beatle project that had the Beatles in so little, and yet it's loaded with Beatle magic. And George Harrison said he felt that was the reason why it was a success, because they had very little to do with it. Uh, I know very well that uh, John, when he saw the, during the middle of the Yellow Submarine film, he expressed a desire um, to write the script for the next Beatles cartoon. Of course, that didn't actually happen um, because they really only had about another year of recording. Uh, after July 1968, they had about another 13 months to go before they uh, finished as a recording unit. Um, but this is a very important part of the Beatles story. And uh, as I say, if you've never seen it, treat yourself. Right. God bless. Bye.